Hey everybody, it's that time again. Loot Crate time! So, got Loot Crate this time. I was a little bit later than what I was expecting it um, because of the weather and stuff like that. So, lots of snow equals delays. So, it happens. No big deal. So, um, but let's get into this. This month was gaming, I believe. So, let's see what we got here. And this is a little bit different of a box than what we normally have. A little bit bigger, but it opens a little bit more than usual, so. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so. First we have got a, oh, one of the mini monies. Uh, so that's the, um, the little vinyl loot crate, or the little vinyl figures that you can take, and it looks like he's got some markers and stuff in there. Um, this is a loot crate exclusive one, too. So, looks like you can go in and probably, yeah, it's got like three different color markers in there. So you can go in and draw on them and stuff. And uh, these are, these were really kind of becoming popular and then Pop or Funko kind of came around and they've even got, Funko's even got some blank ones like this that you can get and they're just male or females and you can go ahead and make your own. So that's kind of neat. So, and those are made by Kid Robot, which do a lot of really cool uh, Japanese vinyls and stuff. So, um... And this I had heard about. I don't know anything about this, but it's um, Skybound, a card game called Super Fight. Um, so this is an exclusive deck that they made for this. So I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about this. Um, it's something I just have to try out. So, and looks like, what do we got in here? Oh, sounds like dice. Yes. Dice that I'm assuming go with this game. I don't quite know for sure. I'll um, we'll have to dig out the book and take a look. So, um, Also got a hex bug larva. So it's like a little creepy crawler. Um, I see these all the time everywhere. Um, don't quite know what they are, but I'll have to get that one out and play with it a little bit. So, um, Of course, got the loot crate button for the month. So, February, oh, play was this month. So, gaming play, close enough. So, so that's kind of cool. Looks like we got a book, um, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Um, uh, looks like it's a futuristic book. It takes place in 2044, so, um, I don't know, could be interesting. So, um, apparently it's about... You know, gaming of some sort, so uh, we'll just have to take a look at it. Um, got, looks like a poster. It's a neat, neat, neat little holder for the poster, though. Uh, let's see what we got here. For, 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 for maybe if I can get it out of there. There we go. It's like a, like a breakdown of the old uh, Atari cartridges. So, it's kind of neat. Kind of fun. Something fun and little. So, roll that back up and put it back in that little tube so that way it doesn't get smashed or banged up. Well, the inside of the box is designed like you can create your own little like board game out of it. So I'm wondering, I didn't see any like. Okay, so so yeah, it is a board game they've created, and apparently the dice go with this game. So that ought to be fun. Um, and then here's a Firefly Online thing that you can go in and to here. Get ready for the Firefly Online with your very own bow, so you get an extra ship. So yeah, so you get a premium ship with that. So that's kind of cool. I don't play that, but might be something that we'll give away on our podcast or something. So um, let's see what we got in here. Uh, um, pictures of everybody doing different stuff. Um, an article about controller or about uh, looks like co-op games and stuff. Um, yeah, this month's Mega Crate was the Mega Crate to get because you got the drone, you got a 3D printer by Dremel, 
and then you got Oculus glasses, and then you got all the Minecraft stuff. So yeah, this one would have been the awesome, awesome one because I mean, the three D printer is a thousand dollars, the drone is eight hundred dollars, and the Oculus is three fifty. So that's twenty two hundred dollars right there. Twenty one, yeah, almost twenty two hundred dollars just in that, not including the additional two hundred and twenty dollars in Legos. So yeah, like a lot of stuff. Oh, that's that's neat. The, it's the history of controllers. So that's kind of fun. The sad thing is I had most of these controllers at one point in time or another. Um, let's see here. And... Oh yeah, those dice are for that game. So, I was right. And it looks like there was some different bugs you could get. Um, it's the poster. Um, and then there's pieces to punch out to play that to play the board game. So that's kind of fun. So yeah, so that wasn't a bad one. Um, I'm kind of interested in the book. Um, the book ought to be pretty interesting. Um, the Mooney figure is really cool because it's, you know, like I said, kid, kid robot. So all that stuff is awesome. Um, I'm a big collector of the smoking laberts and stuff. So that'll definitely be cool. Um, the bug's a little weird. Um, this game has me intrigued because it is made by Skybound, who does, of course, The Walking Dead and Manifest Destiny and several other really cool comic books, um, Tech Jacket and stuff like that. So, um, so I mean, definitely will be a good, good thing, no matter what it is. So um, I don't know if they're planning on getting into the gaming industry, but because I know right now that's a big thing with Kickstarter and everything is made getting into the gaming industry like as simple as creating a little page and getting it funded. I mean, there's several of them on there that I've seen that are outrageously ridiculous. Um, um, so, I mean, I've seen them where they ask for 50000 and they get $6 million. So, you know, just have to see. So, But thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this video. And you guys, have a great evening. Bye.